House of Squibb presents Academy Awards. Every week, Squibb brings you Hollywood's finest. The great picture plays, the great actors and actresses, techniques and skills chosen from the honor roll of those who have won or been nominated for the famous Golden Oscar of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science. And now, E.R. Squibb and Sons, manufacturing chemists to the medical profession since 1858, bring you one of the most delightful fantasies ever presented on the screen. Walt Disney's famous Pinocchio, the picture which, for best original musical score and best song of the year, won the 1940 Academy Award. <laughs> This is the story of a little boy who was carved out of wood. His name was Pinocchio. Because he was a very good little boy when all was said and done, he became a real little boy like you and lived happily ever after. If he hadn't been a good little boy in the end and stopped disobeying those who loved him, he might have ended up just a pile of shavings or even a toothpick. So you'd better be good and listen to the story of Pinocchio. There was a kind old man named Geppetto who made Pinocchio out of the very finest wood. But he loved him so much, he hoped and hoped little Pinocchio might be real and be a son to him in his old age. Oh, look at him. He almost looks alive. Wouldn't it be nice if he was a real boy? Oh, well, come on, we go to sleep. But first I must open the window. Oh, how beautiful. Look, look, the wishing star. Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I make tonight. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference. to be a real little boy, too. And just wait. You'll see. Like a boat out of the Come from the wishing star. Gee whiz, you must have a rocket ship or a jet job. Good, Geppetto, you have done so much. Given so much happiness to others. You deserve to have your wish come true. Geppetto is asleep, snoring. I know, little cricket. Now get out of my way. Where is Pinocchio? Right there. The poor little wooden head. Little puppet made of pine. Wake. The gift of life is thine. Wow! It works! It works! I can move! I can talk! I can walk! Yes, Pinocchio. I have given you life. 
Why? Because tonight Geppetto wished for a real boy. Am I a real boy? No, Pinocchio. Making Geppetto's wish come true will be entirely up to you. Prove yourself brave, truthful, unselfish, and someday you will be a real boy. How will I know? Your conscience will tell you. But what is a conscience? I know, I know. A conscience is that still... Ah, Gideon, listen to the merry laughter of the little innocent children wending their way to school. Thirsty little minds running to the fountain of knowledge. <laughs> what? Gee whiz. There was Honest John the Fox and Gideon the Cat. And all of a sudden, they saw Pinocchio. Look at there. A little wooden boy. Amazing. A live puppet without strings. Goodness, Gideon. A thing like that ought to be worth a fortune. Why, Stromboli, of course. He has a puppet show. Why, that old faker would pay. Hmm, quick, head off, little wooden boy. We'll be on easy street. Well, 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 little wooden boy. You're quite a scholar, I see. A man of letters. Give me my book, sir. I'm going to school. And you haven't heard of the easy road to success? No, sir. I'm speaking, my boy, of the theater. Bright lights, music, applause, and fame. Fame? Yes, and with that personality, that profile, that fatigue, why... But I'm going... Straight to the top, why I can see your name in lights. Right six feet high. Um, what is your name? Pinocchio. Pinocchio. (laughs) P-I-N-U-O-P-I... We're wasting precious time. Come on to the theater. Hi, diddly dee, an actor's life for me. A high silk hat, a silver cane, a watch of gold with a diamond chain. Hi, diddly dee, an actor's life is gay. It's great to be a celebrity, an actor's life for me. Hi, diddly dee, an actor's life is fun. A wax profession, a beaver coat, a pony cart, and a business. Why, that's Pinocchio. Gee whiz, a fine conscious I turned out to be late the first day. Hey, where are you taking little Pinocchio? You can't do that. Stop, stop, stop! Hi, diddly dee, an actor's life for me. Pinocchio! Hey, Pinocchio, hey! You sleep till afternoon. What was that? Me. What? That was my conscience, Jimmy Cricket. Why, what? Who? Why, my boy, you must be seeing things. Now, just calm down, calm down. There's nothing to be afraid of. Hey, Pinocchio. Oh, Jiminy, I'm going to be an actor. You can't do that. You must go to school. Now, when they come back, you tell them you're sorry, but you've got to go to school. Here, here, little boy. You must not lag behind. We're off to the theater. Tell them, Pinocchio. Goodbye, Jiminy. Goodbye. Hey, not goodbye. Pinocchio. Hi, diddly dee. An actor's fight for me. Oh, what'll I do? I'll run and tell his father. No, 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 that would be snitching. I'll go after him myself. Ladies and gentlemen, to include the performance of this great show, Stromboli, the Master of Showman, that's me, Atra Vodaldi, by special permission of the management, that's me too, Question Alochi, is presenting something to you, something you will absolutely refuse to believe, introducing the only American actor who can sing and dance absolutely without the aid of strings. I hope so. Uh, Permitted to guard thee. The one and only Pinocchio. Oh, that's right. Trip and fall down. Go ahead and make a fool out of yourself. Then maybe you'll listen to your conscience. I got no strength to hold me down. To make me free and make me brown. I have
so good. Bravo, bravo, bravo. They like me. It's a success. God for maybe I was wrong. They well, like it. He won't need me anymore. No more. What is an act to want to wear the conscience anyway? Ah. <laughs> Public's eye. Your face, you'll be on everybody's tongue. Will she? Oh, good. I'll run right home and tell my father. Home? Oh, sure. Go home to your father. Ah, oh, that is very comical. You mean it's funny? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back in the morning. John sure, home. Uh. <laughs> Come here, you little splinter. In this cage for you. There, that will be your home. Where I can find you always. No. Yes, yes, yes. To me, you are belonging. We will tour the world. Paris, London, Monte Carlo, Constantinople. No, no, no. Yes, we start tonight. You will make me lots of money. And when you're going too old, you will make good firewood. Oh, no. Let me out or I'll tell my father. Good night, my little wooden gold mine. Ha, 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 ha. Giddy Oh, Jiminy. Oh, Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. Where are you? Where are you? Out in the Walt Disney Studios, where Pinocchio was made, artists have to draw 35 or more separate pictures to make one animated screen character smile. That may seem like a lot of work just for a smile... And yet there is another place where 223 scientific tests are made in the interest of a brighter smile, a happier mouth. That place is the Squibb Laboratories where these 223 separate tests are made to ensure the safety and effectiveness of Squibb Dental Cream. And when you use Squibb Dental Cream, you'll appreciate that extra care. You'll taste, feel, and see the refreshing difference. Like a cup of crystal clear icy water from a mountain spring, the pleasant cooling mintiness of Squib Dental Cream wakes up your whole mouth, leaves it tingling and refreshed. With a touch that's feather soft and safe, the special polishing agent in Squib Dental Cream reveals all the natural sparkle of your smile. So, for home dental care that's more effective, more refreshing, switch to Squib Dental Cream. One of the great family of Squib products. Taste, feel, and see the refreshing difference. In just a moment, we will present the second part of Pinocchio. First, we wish to thank Walt Disney for making this picture available. Walt Disney is also the producer of the Technicolor production, Make Mine Music. And now, the House of Squib presents part two of Walt Disney's Academy Award-winning picture, Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio, it's me, your old friend, Jiminy Cricket, remember? Oh, Jiminy, gee, I'm glad to see you. What's happened? What did Stromboli do to you? Oh, he was mad. He said he was going to push my face in everybody's eye. He's going to chop me into firewood. Yes, looks pretty hopeless. It'll take a miracle to get you out of that cage. Gee. Hey, there's that star again. Uh, that lady, the fairy. What did she say? What did I tell her? You might tell her the truth. Why, Pinocchio. Uh, hello. Pinocchio, why didn't you go to school? School? Go ahead. I, Tell her. I was going to school till I met somebody. Met somebody? Yeah. Two big monsters with big green eyes. <laughs> My nose. My nose is growing bigger. Monsters? Weren't you afraid? No, ma'am. But they tied me up in a big sack. <laughs> My nose. 
There's a tree growing on the end of my nose. Your nose is boring a hole in the side of the wagon. Oh, it hurts. Please. I'm awful sorry. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing until it is as plain as the nose on your face. She's right, Pinocchio. You'd better come clean. I'll never lie again. Honest, I won't. Uh, please, Your Honor. I mean, Miss Blue Fairy, give him another chance. For my sake, will you? I'll forgive you just this once. But remember, a boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. We'll be, be good, good won't we? Wait. Very well. But this is the last time I can help you. <laughs> We're free. Shh. Let's get out of here before something else happens. Come on, Pinocchio. <laughs> Mr. Geppetto. Here he is, Mr. Geppetto. Pinocchio, he's home at last. Maybe he's asleep. Father, father, it's me. Uh, Pinocchio, come here. Look, he ain't here. The bed hasn't been slept in. There's dust everywhere. He's... he's gone. Hey, there's a piece of paper, a note. Oh, it's a message. What does it say? Why, it says here, he... he went looking for you and he was swallowed by a whale. Swallowed by a whale? A whale named Monstro. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to find him. But Pinocchio, are you crazy? Don't you realize he's in a whale? I gotta go to him. What? This whale is Monstro. He swallows whole ships alive. I don't care. Where is the ocean? The ocean? I'm going to find my dear father. Goodbye, Jiminy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, hey, wait. I may be live bait down there, but I'm your conscience and I'm going with you. I'm going to hold this rock so it will take me all the way down to the bottom of the sea. Okay. I'll hold my nose. Let's go. The cop below! in the belly of a whale. I never thought it would be like this. Wonder what has happened to my poor little Pinocchio. He was such a good little boy. And now the whale hasn't eaten anything for two days. And if he doesn't eat, I will starve. Ahoy, below. Move over. Here comes my dinner. Here comes the dinner of Monstro the Whale. Already, let her go. Tuna fish, thousands of tuna fish. I'm saved. <laughs> That's what you think, old man. Those tuna fish are for my dinner. Stand aside. I'm starved. I'm starved. <laughs> Open up. Open up. We want to get in. Who sent you? Moby Dick sent it. Open up. My foot is in there. Open up, you rubber. Why, show. Come on in. Water into 
the H2O. Father! Pinocchio! My son! My son! Hi, Pop. We're here. At last, you've come home. If this is home, throw me a towel. Gee, Father, I'm so happy. But you're soaking wet. You mustn't catch cold. But I came to save you. I have a rat. But it's no use. The whale only opens his mouth when he's eating. And then everything comes out and nothing goes in. I know what to do. We must build a fire. Then we'll make smoke. But, Pinocchio, what's the idea? We're getting out of here, Father. We'll make smoke. Then we'll make the whale sneeze. Wonderful! Hooray! Pile it up. Pile it up. Cut all the rest up. He'll sneeze any minute now. <laughs> Pinocchio. He's drowned dead. Drowned dead. He, he saved me. My little boy saved my life. And now he... He died to save you, Father. My brave little boy. My brave little boy. Look! It's the blue fairy from the wishing star. Prove yourself brave. Truthful and unselfish, and someday you will be a real boy. Awake, Pinocchio. Awake. Father, too many crickets. What you crying for? Because, because you are dead, Pinocchio. No, no, I'm not. Yes, yes, you are. Now lie down. But father, I'm alive. I'm alive. See, and I'm. I'm... Why, I'm real. I'm a real boy. <laughs> you are alive. And you are a real boy. Whee! <laughs> Whee! A real boy. <laughs> gee whiz. Whiz gee. I knew it all the time. Because, you see, when you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. For 
For pure suspense, few dramatic scenes compare with certain steps in the development of today's powerful new weapons against disease. For example, in the great squib laboratories, every lot of penicillin has to demonstrate its potency in many exacting tests. One of them on living bacteria. Tiny cylinders containing penicillin solution are placed in a culture medium in which the bacteria are already thriving. Seeping into the culture, the penicillin checks bacterial growth in a circle around each cylinder. In each case, the size of the circle gives an exact indication of the strength of the penicillin solution. It is by means of such scientific tests as this that the House of Squibb helps to safeguard your health, not only in the production of life-saving drugs like penicillin, but in the making of all Squibb health essentials. That is why the name Squibb on your doctor's prescription or on simple home necessities for your everyday use is your guarantee of quality. Make sure you get Squibb quality. Ask for Squibb, a name you can trust. Wednesday, another great picture. The House of Squibb will present Academy Award starring Joseph Cotton in Shadow of a Doubt. This is Hugh Brundage bidding you good night until next Wednesday at the same time when you're invited to listen again to Academy Award presented by the House of Squibb on names you can trust. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.